quick video on how to find the length of your axle pin for your existing wheels or new wheels. So this here is a Tylite wheelchair. Um, I have the wheel already taken off, as you can see, and we'll start by looking at the existing length of the axle pin that came out of the chair. So here, I have the axle pin along the tape measure, and you can see this axle pin is four inches exactly, because we measure from beneath the head of the pin, where the exposed length of the pin begins, all the way down to uh, just before the little button at the end. And uh, that measures the effective length of the pin, or the length of the pin that's actually gonna hold the wheel to the chair. So based on this measurement, this is a four inch pin. Um, a big mistake people often make is they will measure from the tip of the pin to the, tip, to the other tip of the pin, and that would give you an incorrect measurement on this pin of five inches. So once again, we're gonna measure from the bottom of the head to right before the button at four inches. Next, we're gonna look at the wheel. So this is either the new wheel that you've purchased that you wanna put on your wheel, your wheelchair, or the ex existing wheel. We just need to know the hub width of this wheel. So on many wheels, you can simply take your tape measure and measure the width of this hub here. However, on some wheels, that's gonna pose a problem because it has a sunken bearing. So you have to measure the outer bearing to the outer bearing. What that means is the outside of this bearing here to the outside of this bearing here. So in order to do that, an easy way is to take something like a pen and push it through the wheelchair uh, hub, excuse me, and until it comes just to the edge of that bearing. And then you're gonna put your thumb here where the pin is and pull it out. And so we have, that is the distance there. Tape measure, and we see that it's, it's exactly two inches. So we have a four inch pin, we have a two inch hub. That means that our axle sleeve is exactly two inches because four inch minus two inch equals two inch. Now, if you have a different size wheel that needs to go on and you're trying to determine what type of pin you need to buy, all you have to do is take that axle sleeve length that we've just calculated, the two inches, and add it to the size hub that's gonna be on the new wheel. So if you're ordering another product that has a two and a half inch hub, you know that you'll need a four and a half inch axle pin because you have a two inch axle sleeve plus the two and a half inches in the hub will require a four and a half inch long axle pin. 